medicine. We understand is the future of the medicine and how uh, people who don't know that, how they can understand this approach. Well, it's uh, simply put, uh, we find that everything in the body is an electrical process and that every cell exists because of an electrical potential across the cell membrane. And that everything that happens inside biology, everything is electrical in nature. Now, the chemical companies have dominated the last hundred years or so of medicine with the idea of them selling their synthetic drugs, keeping a chemical idea. But this chemical idea is archaic in today's world. Today's world, we understand electricity, we understand quantum theory, we understand many more elegant forms of science that now allow us to make the computers that you can see me now today because of electronics and quantum theory. We couldn't do this with chemicals. So everybody now today is seeing much more the results, what happens with quantum, what happens with electronics. As we, But medicine is held back. Medicine has been held back by the drug companies to sell their drugs, to make people addicted to their drugs by dealing with their symptoms and not dealing with the causes of disease. A new form of medicine, a more, a more modern, in fact, a much more modern medicine, really has come out with an energetic medicine, an electrical medicine. And what I've done is, as an electrical engineer and a medical doctor and a researcher, I've been able to find a way that we can just very simply measure the body electric, treat the body electric, work with the body electric, use quantum physics, quantum dynamics, the interaction of light and photons and all these other things, heat, many other factors. Take today's science and apply it to medicine, and what we find is we find that natural works, that light from the sun is what plants use through a process known as photosynthesis, and they place the electrons. The electrons are placed in glucose in high energy states that we're going to get for energy. All of this works very simply through a quantum process. And that nature works, nature works through this. And that the medical synthetic drugs do not work through this. So that's why we're seeing more and more people die from doctor prescribed drugs. It is now the second largest killer of all people in the world doctor prescribed drugs. What does it take before people wake up and realize that the synthetic chemical companies are acting on profit and not acting on health? We're trying to find a system of medicine safe, number one. Hippocrates says first don't hurt. We want to first don't hurt, something safe. We then want to be effective, we want to help. Not at the cost of safety, we want to help people and then gradually, and lo and behold, we find energetic medicine, quantum theory, is much more effective, and dramatically more safe, much more effective. We have a whole new form of medicine. Thank you. I would like if you could uh, explain, um, in your point of view, this uh, uh, congress, this moment here in Madrid. Congress. This Congress. This Congress. Why I'm uh, here? Why are you here? What is the relation with the people? If they are enthusiastic with that, if they really understand, what is your view of this meeting today? Oh, well, Spain is uh, one of our best places in the world. Many other places, uh, this is more medical doctors, more of a medical perspective. Spain is one of the best places in the world, and I've come here to as many times, I've been here many, many times, uh, to help bring the simple ideas of energetic medicine. Uh, that has been, I put it into a, a simple machine, the Skio device, uh, Quantum Salute is, is networking the device here, and they have this Congress, and all these different people coming here to speak about the science and the, and the art and the effectiveness and safety of the device. And this is, uh, Spain is a great place. Spain is one of the most pro progressive countries in the world recognizing new science and new ways of thinking. And this is the new science of medicine. In your view, uh, the quantum, the, the especially this device you created, uh, is being used now with uh, all its possibilities? Or it's oh no, it's just getting started. It's so many of the therapists don't really understand, but we do know that the therapists are safe. Everything's safe. We do know that it's effective. 
but we're trying to broaden the education this is what the international medical university is for we're working to make sure we broaden the education to learn more and more about the power of nature and nature's healing the power to help people and the power to help people with a modern medicine that is safe and dramatically effective you talk about education how do you see the relation between internet and the possibilities of communication through internet and how uh, because we are talking about a platform that is built to educate people how do you see this possibility one of the problems that we have in the in today's world is global warming and we have people who have to drive to school and by driving to school they create a carbon footprint more and more people are going to need to get their education through the net they're going to need to get them through the web they're going to need to be able to do shopping eventually they're going to be very shortly be able to see the doctor on the website he'll be able to make a lot of preliminary and get a lot of stuff started before you even have to drive many people then won't have to drive to see the doctor but right now just education the opportunities are, are endless and people the problem is that when you get to watching the net for education you bore easily when you're in the room with a live teacher he's there to wake you up when you're watching on the net you bore easily and you but we have to get over this we have to find ways to jog the memory and keep things going these are little challenges that we meet